and a very good morning to you. And now, the little dream man for little bedtime people. We're saying hello to Marga Frank. Stories that come in from the air are moments of magic, and radio not only conjures up pictures of fantasy, but provides for emotions as well. And the best stories of all are the ones that sent children to sleep with dreams in their pockets and smiles on their faces. And this was children's radio as it once was. And in Austria it was all thanks to one woman. It was 1955, the age of new radio in Austria. A period of excitement. Everything was starting again after the war. And it was against this pioneering background that Marga Frank started The Little Dream Man a program for children. And this, indeed, was something quite special. The little dream man began around bedtime, and its little listeners were not only on their way to their beds, but also looking forward to a moment they loved. And the reason was simple. The little dream man stories had the magical quality of ending each day on a high and that's what made them so special. And the programmes were loved by both children and adults alike. But of course, the telling of good stories wasn't all that it seemed. Each story was a challenge. They not only had to last for exactly four minutes and forty-five seconds, they had to conform to Margot Frank's high standards as well. And it was this that made the little dream man successful. And that wasn't all. The programme went out every day, and that meant 365 brand new stories each year. And that was not always easy. But everything always happened on schedule, and as the years went by, so did the stories. And the generations moved on as well. The Little Dream Man was so popular that it lasted for almost forty years. And the first little listeners grew up to become the grandparents of the last little listening dreamers. And when television became popular, the Little Dream Man sadly disappeared into its shadow forever. And Margaret Frank was happily still with us until just a short time ago, and with her more than ninety years was able to look back upon a life of great pleasure. And Austria said thank you in a very big way. She was awarded the Austrian Medal of Honour for her work, the highest honour of all, and quite rightly so, for she after all, was the one who sent millions of children to bed every night with a smile and a wonderful dream. Stories that come in from the air are moments of magic, and Margot Frank was a lady of magic. Her stories were great listening pleasure, and everyone loved them. Calling all children, Margot Frank.